The Chevy Silverado is an American icon. Chevy sells a ton of the things and people swear by them. But the full-size pickup truck landscape is shifting, raising the question, can the Silverado and its corporate twin, the GMC Sierra, still hold their own against increasingly sophisticated competitors? That's not just a salacious headline either. With the Ram 1500's bold rear coil springs, optional air suspension, and eight-speed transmission, and the Ford F-150's EcoBoost engine and daring adoption of weight-saving aluminum, the pickup truck field is anything but static. The Silverado may not be a leader when it comes to dazzling next-gen developments, but it's still a very well-sorted package. From a usability standpoint, there's a lot of good things happening here in the bed region. For example, a damped tailgate comes standard on higher trims. Makes you wonder how we suffered through all those years of, of uncontrolled falling tailgates like animals. I'm also told that the tailgate can be removed very, very easily without any tools. Let's we'll see about that. Partial points. Actually getting into a full-size pickup truck can be a little bit tricky. I mean, not everybody is as agile and cat-like as I am. <sighs> Chevy's solution is simple and brilliant. A built-in step in the bumper and a handhold built into the bed rail. I love uncomplicated solutions to annoying problems. All these little details add up. You really appreciate flip-up rear seats, convenient bed access, and will place tie downs when, let's say, transporting an old Street Fighter arcade game. However you plan to use your truck, the Silverado can be equipped to match. There's regular, double, and crew cabs to choose from, each offered with a six and a half foot bed, though the crew cab's standard five foot eight inch bed might be a better choice if you live somewhere lacking limitless space. If hauling extra huge loads is on your to-do list, we'd suggest the regular cab's available eight foot bed. The Silverado might be full size, but light, accurate steering helps hide some of that mass. At the same time, the suspension does a nice job, a really nice job, absorbing bumps. Yeah, there's a little bit of truck-like bounciness because of that live rear axle out back, but if you can't deal with that, maybe you should buy a minivan. Countering the slight truckiness of the suspension is an impressively quiet interior, made partially possible by triple-sealed inlaid doors. Adding to all that pleasantness is a simple, intuitive infotainment system and a bunch of other controls that I'm told you can operate with work gloves on. Not that I have any. These are typing hands. Tempering all the positives are a couple of oversights, including the lack of rear seat vents or optional keyless passive entry. I mean, reaching into your pocket every time you enter a vehicle is so 2010. It's hard to top the practicality of the standard front bench seat, but if you really, really hate having people sit next to you, you do have bucket seats as an option. Even better than that is this optional console, which provides a really nice protective barrier. You can also put stuff in it, like big stuff. In fact, the Silverado is filled with all sorts of handy little storage nooks all around. For example, right over here, and right back here. And this glove box supplemental bit right up here. On top of that, it's also overflowing with USB ports, depending on how you have your vehicle equipped. Look, one, two, three right here, and two more right there. You have no excuse not to be on Facebook right now. Potentially more interesting than an abundance of USB outlets are the Silverado's engine choices, which include a 4.3 liter V6, a 5.3 liter V8, and a 6.2 liter V8, each featuring all aluminum construction, direct injection, and the ability to deactivate cylinders under light throttle. Interestingly, the mid-level 5.3 liter V8 is only slightly thirstier than the V6, making it a nice choice for those torn between capability and efficiency. Shifting duties for the 4.3 and 5.3 engines are handled by a 6-speed automatic transmission with a well-calibrated tow-haul mode. 
The 6.2 liter V8 boasts an 8 speed automatic transmission along with a healthy maximum tow capacity of 12,000 pounds. Pricing for the Silverado is as varied as its body and powertrain choices. The least expensive WT or work truck trim starts at less than $27,000, while a Silverado High Country trim, when well equipped, can reach the $50,000 mark. Based on those prices, the Silverado sits roughly in line with its Ford and Ram competitors. Though truck sales are often greatly discounted from MSRP, so be sure to check the KBB Fair purchase price before you buy. In its most elemental form, the Silverado includes cruise control, Bluetooth phone connectivity, an audio system with USB and auxiliary jacks, six airbags, and vinyl floor covering and seats. Niceties like leather upholstery, heated and ventilated front seats, and a premium audio system can be found on higher trims. Other options worth considering include a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, power adjustable pedals, LED lighting in the bed, navigation, movable tie-down hooks, a spray-in bed liner, and what we consider a necessity in a truck this size, a backup camera. Buyers whose off-road aspirations exceed the capabilities of the optional four-wheel drive system might also consider the locking rear differential, all-terrain tires, and off-road suspension found in the Z71 package. Before eagerly throwing your cash at the nearest Chevy dealer, it's wise to examine the alternatives. For a very similar, just slightly elevated pickup truck experience, consider the near-identical GMC Sierra. There's also the Toyota Tundra, though it's not particularly efficient, especially when compared to the Ram 1500, which sports an excellent 8-speed transmission and can be equipped with a 3-liter diesel engine that ups highway fuel economy to the high 20s. Then there's the Ford F-150. Massive weight savings made possible by its largely aluminum construction result in an efficient yet capable pickup that rides and handles exceptionally well. The latest Chevy Silverado is undoubtedly the best one ever. And why not? It's infused with all sorts of really cool practical touches, offers up some really nice features. There's a trio of capable engines to choose from, and it rides nice. If you're a fan of Chevrolet, you have every reason to love the Silverado. But for unaffiliated buyers, it's becoming increasingly hard to ignore everything that's happening beyond the bow tie.